Hi, welcome to Prism Technologies. My name is Venkat. This is part one, introduction to C-Sharp. In this module, we will understand the basic structure of a C-Sharp program, what is a namespace, purpose of a main method. With that, let's jump straight into a demo. Fire up Visual Studio, go to all programs, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. This fires up Visual Studio. Now create a new project. Go to File, New, Project. And remember, with .NET, we can use a variety of different programming languages like C Sharp, and there are other programming languages as well Visual Basic, C, F Sharp. Now we will choose our programming language as C Sharp. And with .NET, you can create different types of applications. You can create web applications, Windows applications, Office applications, SharePoint, WCF, etc. But we will be creating a console application. So the type of application is console application and the programming language is Visual C Sharp. We will name our project as Introduction to C Sharp. And we are going to create that project in C drive. Click OK. So this creates a C sharp console project for us. Now we will be talking about solution explorer, properties window, toolbox, etc. in a later session. So let's close them for now. And I want to make this program as simple as possible. So let's leave only the basic required, you know, lines of code within this program and get rid of the others so let me get rid of this unwanted namespace declarations i also don't require this line and this one and i don't even require these parameters to the main method all right so if you look at this particular program it's a very simple program hardly three lines of code with a couple of braces around it okay now what do we want this program to do? I want this program to print a very simple message onto a console screen. Now, if you're wondering what is a console screen, it's nothing but the command prompt window. And to get to the command prompt window, start run and type cmd or command. Okay, anything would get you to the command prompt. So this is the command prompt window. Okay, so on a window like this, I want a message, welcome to C Sharp training. And I want your C Sharp program to do that. And to do that, it's very simple. Okay, I don't have to write any new methods or something like that. I can make use of the classes that are present inside the .NET framework. Now, if you're new to what is .NET framework, then please check you know my video tutorial on .NET framework basics. Okay, so within .NET framework, we have a class called console class. Okay, we can use this console class basically to write messages onto this console window, which I have just shown you, or read messages from the console window if a user has typed something into that. Okay, so now my program has to write something onto the console. So I'm going to use a function called write line. Okay, so I'm using this write line function, and to that I will pass a message that I want to be printed onto the console. For example, I want this message "Welcome to C# -sharp training to be printed onto the message. And now to run this program, all I have to do is press Control F5, and once you do that, you have that message on the screen: "Welcome to C# -sharp training." Press any key to continue. When I do that, the program terminates. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So if I have to print a message, all you have to do is use this write line method, pass it the message that you want to print it, and this function is present inside this class. Now, if you look at this program, there are a couple of pieces involved in this. Okay, the first line right here is called the namespace declaration. Okay, so what do we mean by namespace declaration? Basically, this line tells that to the rest of the program, we are going to make use of code that is present inside this system namespace. Okay, so what is a namespace? I mean, at the moment, understand that a namespace is a collection of classes, for example. 
okay because this console class if you look at the fully qualified name of that this console class full name is actually system dot console so the console class is present inside the system namespace so if i hover over that it says namespace system so this console class is present inside this namespace now if i don't have this declaration there what's going to happen look at this we get an error okay so what is that the name console does not exist in the current context okay so this red squiggly line indicates it's an error so if i try to build this application if i go to the build menu and says build solution i get a compiler error the name console does not exist in the current context that's because the program does not know where is this console class coming from so to let our program know that we are going to make use of classes that are present inside the system namespace we use that declaration called using system like so so this will tell to our program you know we are going to make use of that class console class which is present inside this namespace now if you ask me is a namespace just a collection of classes no it's a collection of variety of things for example let me take you to the slide so in this slide you can see that a namespace is basically used to organize your code and it's a collection of classes interfaces structures enums and delegates now what are these okay so we will be talking about classes interfaces structures enums and delegates in a very great detail in a you know later video sessions so until then don't worry so but just understand that a namespace is basically used to organize your code and it's a collection of all these okay so that's that now just to show you it's in fact is a collection of all that system dot look at this for example action that's a delegate so a namespace can contain delegates and if you look at this one activator that's a class and similarly there are various other things like events etc and if you look at this interestingly this one is actually a namespace so a namespace can contain other namespaces as well so what is a namespace a namespace is used to organize your code and it's a collection of classes delegates namespaces etc okay now is it mandatory for me you for me to use a declaration like this no not really you can get rid of that if you want but if you do that you have to use the fully qualified name like so so you can either use the fully qualified name like that or you can use the namespace declaration it's up to you whichever is convenient but usually in general people use namespace declaration on the top because if in your program if you are referring to console class multiple times you don't have to use the system keyword you know every time you use the console clear class if you have a namespace declaration here so that makes it more easy less typing basically okay all right so that's about namespace declaration another important thing to understand here okay so let's get rid of this let's have you know a namespace declaration so using system and then the next piece of thing that you have to understand is this class class program okay so any piece of code that you write should actually be inside a class and when we talk about classes there are static classes and instance classes which we'll be talking about in a very great detail in our later session so until then don't worry we just require a class any piece of code that we write should be residing inside a class so this function should have a place to live and that is going to be this function this class called program okay and this method this is the function functions and methods are the one which will actually do the work we will be talking about functions in a very great detail again in a later session a function will have something called access modifiers static modifiers written types function names and parameters so we'll be talking about all these in a later session but if you look at right here this function name is called as main function so basically this function tells okay the program execution when I actually run the program the execution should start right there and end right there so if I run this program what's going to happen it enters you know 
it starts executing here, prints this line, and terminates here. Okay, now let's say, let me make a copy of this. Say, for example, I have, you know, maybe I'll call that main one, and just for differentiation, we call this as training one. Now, if I execute this program, do you think will this message be printed or this message will be printed or both of them will be printed what do you think will happen you know from this slide if you understand main method is the entry point to your application so where is the main method this one is the main method this is not the main method because it says main one so it treats that method as something else so this is the entry point so your program execution starts here ends here which means it only will print this line it doesn't print this line okay so if your class you know you have this class called program if this class has got hundreds of methods inside that now which where should your console application starts start at execution that's what is determined by your main method so your main method is basically the entry point into your application okay now so let's go ahead and run this the moment i run that look at this it says welcome to c-sharp training which is this one but it doesn't print the line but what if i want even that line to be printed and the way to do it is just before you know we know that the program will be terminated here just before that call your main one function as well so what happens when we run the program the execution starts here it prints this line and then it says sees this method call this function call all right let's wait i need to call this function as well so it goes here it executes this function finishes the call come back into this line and terminates the program so now if i go ahead and run this program it's going to print both of these messages onto the console so it's as simple as that but one thing to keep in mind is that every console application should have a main method which basically tells that's the entry point that's where the program should start executing okay so to sum up this is a simple c sharp program you know we have a namespace declaration and we need to have class and inside that class we have our main method which signifies the entry point into your application and we are printing a message onto the console um, Using system declaration, the namespace declaration indicates that you are using the system namespace. A namespace is basically used to organize your code, and it's a collection of classes, interfaces, structures, enums, and delegates. And main method is the entry point to your application. So that's it in this presentation. Uh, for additional resources, please check our website at prajamtech.com. And for any interview questions, ASP.NET and C Sharp, please refer to these two resources. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.